Alright guys, how's it going? So, Jake's back bringing you another video and today what I want to talk about is how knife fighting is similar to battling porn addiction. So just last weekend I went to a really epic martial arts conference. There were martial artists from all over the place with kickboxing background, kung fu background, taekwondo background, and we learned some really, really cool stuff. Trained with world-renowned Martin Wheeler. And one of the things that we did amongst this four-day conference was knife fighting and learning how to defend against the knife. And as I was working this and learning some of these techniques, I recognized that knife fighting is a lot like fighting porn addiction. See, so what happens is when someone comes at you with a knife, your focus is here. This is the weapon. This is what can cause damage. This is what can kill you. This is what could hurt other people. And in that regard, it's kind of similar to pornography. Pornography is the behavior that is hurting your life and hurting those you love. But I've said before, and I want to continue to talk about this subject, that porn is not the problem, right? So for instance, if someone comes at you with a knife, you certainly do need to understand how to get this out of this person's hand. But the most important factor is to learn how to mobilize the individual. See, because if I no longer have the knife, well, wouldn't that have been really funny if I dropped that on my foot? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. So if the knife leaves the individual, well, you still got to deal with this, right? But everyone's so focused on the knife. They don't focus on the core problem, on the real problem. Take me out and there's no knife or me. And it's the same with pornography. If you focus solely on the thing that is hurting the individuals, right? I wanna protect myself against the knife, okay? This is porn. I wanna protect myself against the knife. Let's lock down my computer. I wanna protect myself against the knife. Let's put locks on my phone. I wanna protect myself against the knife. Then get in a, an accountability partner. Those are all good things to protect you against this thing that will do you harm. And I'm not saying those things shouldn't be done, but if we're talking about finding real freedom and real solutions, then we can't focus on the problem. We have to focus, we can't focus on what we think is the problem. This, eliminate this, and this goes away. And it's the same with porn, guys. If you find the root issue, then porn goes away. And it sounds so simple and maybe too easy, but if you're new to this channel, and if you haven't seen some of my videos before, then you need to know that I was one that struggled with pornography addiction for over 14 years. Years of counseling and therapy, years of attending 12-step meetings, all kinds of accountability partners and locking down my computer. I'm in my seventh year of higher education and I just bought a laptop earlier this, or late last year. Didn't have a laptop for the first six years of school because that's how afraid I was. I didn't trust myself. And so I'd like to illustrate this with just one story. One story of what happens when we really radically transform our life, stop treating porn like the problem, and really move forward towards finding the root issue, resolving the root issue, and then we can live a life of freedom. It feels amazing, guys. It's absolutely incredible. So there I was, this was like four years ago, I was hanging out with some friends. There was like maybe eight or nine of us at a friend's house, right? And they wanted to play the game Quibbage, right? So if you know that game, everyone like logs into a website via their phone and then they answer questions on the TV and you all play together. <clears throat> Super fun, except back then I had no internet on my phone. Right? The iPhone has a feature where you can go and shut off the internet so you can't, there's no icon there, you can't access it. Well, in order to access it, I had to have my parents have a passcode, right? So I needed to give them uh, the opportunity to memorize a four digit code that I didn't know so that whenever I needed the internet, I had to walk into their room and be like, hey, can I use the internet, right? And, you know, it was a really defeating situation because every time I walked into my parents' room seeking the internet for one reason or another, in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, what are they thinking, right? I remember one time in particular, I walked into the part of my dad's room where the bathroom is, he was in there shaving or something, and I remember he grabbed the phone and he like specifically turned and he like looked at me to check to see if I wasn't looking in the reflection to see what the code was. Does that sound like freedom to you? No, I wasn't viewing, but because I couldn't, there's a difference. 
So I'm at this game night and I can't play because I have no internet. So I gotta excuse myself, oh, oh, I gotta take a call real quick. So I go outside, call my dad, explain what's going on. He's like asking all these questions and it's not that they didn't trust me. They knew that Jacob really wanted help. He didn't want to be addicted to pornography. But the addiction in many ways was controlling my behavior and controlling my life. So he's like, are you sure? Like, you know, this and that. And I'm like, yeah, like, I'll definitely, you know, we can get a new code once, once I get home tonight. I'll be sure to check in with you kind of thing. And I'm sitting there that night and I'm thinking, wow, this is not a life. Yeah, maybe I wasn't viewing porn, but I, I, I was not free. So that's what I want to bring to you today, guys, is I really want you to think about these things. We here at The Freedom Specialist have helped hundreds of people completely drop their addictions. Not just pornography either, chronic depression, chronic anxiety. We are helping people with eating disorders and all kinds of other things that they struggle with. And we used to be Liberate a Man, but now we have female clients, so we had to change that. So now we're The Freedom Specialist. If you're struggling or you know someone that is struggling with an addiction, have them reach out, have them come talk to us, and let's get them and you the help that you need. The whole idea is to stop treating porn like it's the problem. Go and solve what's really underlining that. What is really driving the behavior? Once you solve that, you start living a life that's so free and so amazing. My name is Jacob. Thank you for watching this video and please know that I have been made free from pornography. And that's all that I'm here to help you do as well. Keep the faith. Till next time. See ya. <laughs> you know I'm filming, right? Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs>